Hi, I'm Nick Bonner with TreeStuff.com. I'm here with Dr. Andy from JJ Moje. Dr. Andy, I know that this tree used to be more common in the United States. If I wanted to identify it, what are some of the first things that I would look at? Well, you could definitely take a look at the bark. It would give you some indication of what it would look like. And also take a look at the leaves. Um, leaves could be mistaken uh, with another tree that looks similar, but when we put the leaf and the bark combination together, we can have a positive idea. Tell me what it is, Dr. Andy. This tree is an American elm, and it's an American elm, and I think it's, most people probably know, but why are there, why are there so many American elms anymore? Unfortunately, elms were planted really densely in populated areas, and they unfortunately uh, have succumbed to a disease known as Dutch elm disease. So they're not as popular in our landscapes nowadays, but under well-curated situations, we can't have it. All right, bonus question. If Dutch elm disease has never happened, and it happened today, could we do anything about it? Today we tend to do, uh, we tend to grow trees that are genetically diverse. And so uh, genetic diversity helps uh, basically, uh, some trees are more or less susceptible to the disease. So um, we would tend to plant less trees that are genetically identical. And that's really the key to their success. Got it. Thanks so much.